Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to start off this new week. A short video, not a long video, in terms of speculations because my creativity has, hasn't been, you know, peaked. I don't know why I showed that symbol, but it's not been peaked. So I'm going to talk about the rumors that came last week, but kind of expand on those rumors. Now, this rumor has been stated a little bit more trustworthy than other rumors. I don't know why rumors are trustworthy in this day and age, but rumors are rumors. But these guys made some perfect predictions. We, I talked about it in the last week video, so go and check it out. Now, today I'm going to be talking about the region that they specified uh, in last week. They said in that rumor it can be a possibility of a Spanish um, region. Uh, now, it correlates with the fact that, you know, the Pokemon people, actually the veterans of the games, actually went to Spain. It's not for a... You know holiday it was not that it was kind of like a professional visit so they went there for their research now also they said that trading the scripting has been done which i talked about in depth but that makes sense in terms of like pokemon names has been finished as well which i didn't talk about so if it is considered you know 100 percent there can be you know that is there's a trademark for names in, on twitter you can see but the problem is there's like thousand two thousand three thousand names that has been trademarked every single day so to go through them and see for pokemon names is really really tough because sometimes those names are pretty obvious sometimes those are really really gem of a kind so you know just like you cannot go and say you know when i see uh sol galeo or lunala i can say oh my god this might sound like a pokemon name but sometimes most of the times it's not going to be that thing but that's also there the speculation part where it lies that transcription has been done they are writing the uh, languages for all the languages they are writing the script they're just uh, so you have the original version of the script in japan japanese and then you have, i think they will go for the traditional chinese and then chinese uh, then you know you have every language there is possibly english um, german french and stuff like that now this showcases that the games are going to go in a rampant pace they can reach it reach this with in terms of 2018 end october november they can release it november 17th or november 16th just they did with sun and moon or ultra sun and moon which is quite soon in my opinion because i never thought they could release this so fast so quick they could take their time i really thought they would just take their time and then 2019 uh same way how zelda was released in terms of march april the possibilities lies there but no they're going to release it 2018 90 percent i confirmed that it's going to be released in 2018 but 10 of me says it's still going to be 2019 you got to wait another year but the possibilities are endless though because rumors, speculations can be made. So Mondays are fun filled for me indeed. So let's talk more about this rumors. Okay. Now, first things first, Spain. That doesn't make like, you know, that doesn't scream for a Pokemon region, you know. They did France, which I think made sense when you see Kalos, if you don't know about X and Y. Uh, at least if you see the show anime or if you play the games, you'll understand why the reference was there. And they made New York with Unova and they made Kanto, obviously Japanese. And then they had, you know, Sino, I think, which is, I think, which was, I don't know, I forgot. But every one of these regions are done so in terms of real world regions. So to make them in terms of Spain, I thought it was going to be Italy. Uh, I don't know why, but that was a rumor as well. So that's kind of thing. But the problem is that rumor was pretty much was not backed by anything. Those guys who said that didn't have any past history. They only had their words and rumors are not taken upon words. But these guys have experience. They have told about the right things at the right time. So for them to say, they, are also, they were also wrong at some times. But most of the times they have been right. They have been perfectly correct and accurate and in-depth analysis of certain things made us believe whatever they said was true so i would say that it's true and i'm going to take this with a pinch of salt you should so because this is a speculative video now they can go for two things that is angel and demon you know death that sort of a deal in terms of legendaries uh, i don't know how the region would shape up from that uh, I also don't know about the starters. I'm not going to speculate about that in this video. Maybe in the next few.
few videos I can talk about it because I have not gone through the deviant arts that I should have gone through because I had a busy weekend. But next week on Friday I'll just sit through and see the deviant arts and possibly I'll pick up three Pokemon that I think could be possible for the Pokemon starters for the next generation and not just that for Spain gener um, as a region specifically. That's just my opinion and that's going to be staying the same for the next rest of the year to next year. Unless it becomes a news information that they released in E3, you know, they can just go out and say this region is based on this, this region is uh, look like this. Maybe, you know, certain Pokemons from that region can be specifically tied in. Whatever it is, I'll let you guys know. And uh, for now, that seems to be the case. Now, there can be a bull Pokemon or they can still carry on with certain things in terms of from the fast generations. Uh, they said Z-Moves are going to make a return. But I think Z-Moves as a return is going to be pretty much pissing off people rather than anything. Because I've told you that this last week that people are playing this laid back. So if you make them do things in terms of like pushing them to do certain things, they are gonna, not going to like it that much. If you think about it, if you want to Z-Move, you, you got to use the Joy-Con, you got to do the dance like Lana is like do this. It's not going to work out for people because people are going to be pissed because it's, that's not the way they play the game. They play the game in terms of their laid back attitude, you know, just like this, you know, just just relax, just, just chill out. You can't make them do it. And Mega Evolution is the same case. They said there's not going to be any new Mega Evolutions, which is really, really pissing me off because Mega Evolutions is a big, big deal. Maybe they release it with the remakes rather than the new games, but I don't know why they would do that because uh, maybe if they release a Diamond and Pearl remake after this 8th um, generation, let's say 2019, they release this. And when they release that, they can be like, you know what, uh, the starters get a Mega Evolution. Um, the Gen 4 Pokemons, major Gen 4 Pokemons get a Mega Evolution in terms of Mammoth Swine or something like that. Or even older Pokemons can get a Mega Evolution from time to time. And when they do remakes of some other games, they can showcase that, alright, these games are done so in a way that you love. And these games have gotten Mega Evolutions. That's why you can look for Mega Evolutions. New games are not going to have Mega Evolutions, but they're going to feature Z moves, new Z moves, new style of Z moves, new, maybe new types even. You know, they introduced fairy types in the sixth generation. Uh, to me personally, I think that's it. That's in terms of 18 uh, types. That's how going to be. That, that's going to be it for the Pokemon world for a long, long time. Because if you think about it, they only released the dark type and steel type for the possible vulnerabilities that psychic type didn't have. Ghost type is not the answer for psychic types. Don't ever think that. Dark type is the way to go. So they only released that because, you know, it was the right thing to do at that time. And they only released fairy type because dragon types have gone too, too, too strong, you know, for them only to have to vulnerabilities obviously dragon types are always strong i love dragon types but at the end of the day they need to be kept in check so fairy types were the way to go immune totally to dragon type moves and they can take down big pokemons pretty easily and there was pretty cool pokemons in terms of fairies not so cool when in terms of original design except for sylveon which was my which is my favorite fairy type pokemon but god of war mega god of war gets away with it too in terms of like mega evolutions so at the end of the day, I would say they are doing the right thing, but at the same time, not the right thing because Mega Evolutions are much, much, much more necessary, much more acceptable. If you think about it, if you take a poll anywhere you want, you can see Mega Evolutions win over Z moves because Mega Evolutions is a cool way. Obviously, however, they want to make it sound bad in terms of the Pokedex entries or the designs. It's something that got you know, stuck with people in them in terms of their hearts because they saw Charizard uh, as a dragon type which they never could see. So for them, even if it's a temporary thing, they could see their Pokemon's Mega evolving into something that is more greater, maybe a new type, maybe a new ability, maybe a new kind of attack whenever it is on this. So I would say Mega Evolutions win over Z-Moves any time of the day. Maybe people have grown to Z-Moves after two games, but I don't think so. Possibly for me, Z Mega Evolutions is the way to go, but they said there's not going to be any Mega Evolutions. Possibly, maybe, but they said mm, don't expect them. Z-Moves are the way to go, and the combat system is going to get overall. I'm going to make a video on it next week, it's just combat, how this is going to go. And after that, I'll talk about the Spanish um, you know, region as a thing, as a possibility for Gen 8. 
and uh, after that maybe I'll go back to some other speculations and then we'll come back to Pokemon. How about that? Alright, hit that like button if you like this video, share the video with friends and family, stop posting around and hit that subscribe button, also the notification icon on the side and let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this you know, ideology, what do you think about Death and Angel as the legendary Pokemon? I really think that can work out, um, they're like standing up, you know, and I don't know, it's going to be a cool thing where they can reference many other pop cultures in terms of it and they can just have a, they really have a way with going with reality, so if they kind of pay homage to that, I think that will be fine. So I'm really looking forward to it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you want Spanish or do you want Italian region or whatever region you want? That would be the question of the hour for you. All right. What region would you want to see that is really, really explaining that your loveliness? So you want to go to the Venice uh, region, you know, Italian region, but Venice themed town. You just want to go ham, boats. You want to go on boats instead of surfing, have a chill time, maybe those sort of things will be soothing for you uh, because the system, combat system is going to be stressful enough for you that you need to take a break from the game itself. That will be covered in the next week's video. So anyways guys, let me know in the comments down below that will be the question of the hour for you. Stop posting around as I said and join the Cavalier Collective. Until next time, be peculiar, stay peculiar. I'll see you. Bye. <laughs> Take a body's high